Treating head lice and nits, which are the lice eggs, involves a combination of methods aimed at killing the lice and removing the eggs from the hair and the scalp. In this video, I'm going to cover a step-by-step -step approach to help you identify as well as treat and remove head lice effectively. So step one is to confirm the presence of head lice. To do this, make sure that you check for live lice and nits, which are the eggs, in dry hair using a fine toothed comb, which is also called a lice comb, and try to do this under good lighting. Nits, which are the eggs, are usually found quite close to the scalp and they can be mistaken for dandruff or hair product residue and they look like this. Step two is to choose an effective treatment. Now, I would recommend first trying over-the-counter or OTC medications. Now, there are various over-the-counter shampoos, lotions, and creams that contain insecticides such as permethrin that are specifically formulated to kill lice. Now, if you're not sure on which to use, just speak to your pharmacist who'll be able to advise you on the best option and make sure that you carefully follow the product instructions that come with the pack. Step three is to apply the treatment, so always follow the instructions on the product that you choose closely. Generally, this involves covering the hair and scalp with the medication, leaving it on for the recommended time, which is often 10 to 15 minutes, and then rinsing the hair thoroughly with water. Step four is to try and remove the nits, so these are the lice eggs. After treatment, I'd recommend that you use a fine-toothed nit comb to remove nits from the hair shafts. To do this, I would advise that you wet the hair with conditioner and that can make combing easier. You'll want to comb through small sections of hair one step at a time, wiping the comb on a bit of paper towel between the strokes to remove any lice or nits. I'd recommend that you repeat the combing every two to three days for two to three weeks to ensure that all the nits are removed before they hatch. Now, step five is to make sure that you've got a generally clean environment, especially at home. This means washing all bedding, clothing, and towels that are used by the person with lice in hot water, which is at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees C. I would then recommend that you dry it on a high heat for at least 20 minutes. For items that can't be washed, I'd recommend that you seal them in a plastic bag for two weeks because lice can't survive without a host, i.e. your head for that long. Finally, I'd suggest that you vacuum carpets, upholstered furniture and car seats where the person who's got lice has been. Step six is to prevent reinfestation. This means that you should avoid sharing combs, brushes, hats and clothing with others and try to encourage children not to have head-to-head -head contact with others during playtime. Now, although as a parent myself, I can understand that this can be quite difficult. Finally, step seven is to monitor for any signs of reinfestation and continue with the nit combing as needed until all the lice and the nits have gone. Now, if over-the-counter treatments don't work or if the infestation is severe, speak to your doctor for further guidance and possibly prescription treatments. And please consider sharing this video with someone who you think could benefit from it.